In this video, I'm going to be talking about just kind of a general uh, state of Madden 23, where we're at, uh, my favorite abilities right now in the game, also um, my favorite settings in the game. Now, if you're in the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe, lets you know when we post new videos. Also, if you want to get my brand new uh, defensive ebook, I just released a dollar ebook. I think it was Monday that I released that. Um, brand new way to run dollar. Really like it. I think it actually um, combines some of the things that we were doing out of the nickel over and the dollar three two to make it one of the best defenses in the game. So if you want to get access to all of my ebooks, Patreon.com. The link is in the description below. Patreon.com slash Cody Ballard will get you access to everything. Now, I just wanted to talk about the meta state of the Madden uh, 23 right now with the uh, MCS qualifiers going on right now as well. Just wanted to kind of talk about what we're seeing in the community. And basically, it's this. If you come over here to my uh, uh, my theme team, obviously, we know by now that the Legends theme team is really, really, really powerful. 40 out of 40 Legends is one of the best. Uh, I think it's the best theme team still, um, but it is definitely one of the better theme teams in the game. What you're going to be able to find with the Legends theme team is you're always going to have players coming out that are going to fit into the Legends theme team. It's also going to give you, I think, some of the best abilities in the game, which is what Madden 23 is right now. We are literally playing Pokemon with our cards, in my personal opinion, and the reasoning is because of where the... Where the meta is right they're giving us so many discounted ability cards and it's not a necessarily a bad thing i don't think but what i wanted to talk about was again the primary meta right now you're seeing on the offensive side of the ball is you're seeing this audible around meta and basically what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the detroit playbook or the new england playbook some people are rocking with um some people are rocking with um oh uh, new orleans that's what des was using in the uh, MCS tournament last, uh, I think the Thanksgiving tournament, and it is really, really effective. Just basically audibly around, trying to quick snap, trying to catch your opponent off guard, trying to make it so that your opponent can't adjust. And the reason why is because the defensive meta right now is basically a, a heavily adjusted dollar defense um, is kind of the meta that we're seeing. Now, I do think that man coverage is actually um, still really, 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 really good. I've actually been running some man coverage. Um, I was running a lot of zone, but I've kind of shifted back to man coverage. And the main reason why um, is because of these discounted abilities. What you're seeing now is one of the primary counters to man coverage was the ag, uh, the ag catch. But now, with the way the game was going... We're getting, you know, pick artists everywhere on my field. Like, you'll see here on my defense, I've got, like, 12 active superstars, and I've loaded up Darrell Rivas. But one of the things I want to show you just about my abilities to kind of explain the meta right now, I think these unpredictables uh, or these zero AP, AP abilities are really good. So I'm rocking, like, two unpredictables and a speedster. And I've actually noticed really good sheds from three-man rushes whenever you're using uh, these kind of players. The other thing I want to talk about, though, is pick artists. I think pick artists is an absolute must. I have pick artists on every player on my field. Um, if you're not using pick artists, then you need to make sure that you're using some kind of uh, KO ability. But really, Rod Woodson, I think he's the best slot corner in the game right now because he gets deep route KO and pick artists. Uh, for 2 AP total, you're looking for these ability discounts all over the place. Um, another really good corner is Sertan, especially if you're playing man, because he gets medium route KO and pick artists. Again, pick artists is really, really important. Sub linebackers, you need to be using Steve Atwater and Jeremy Chin, in my opinion, because why? They get pick artists for zero AP. Um, so it's really, really, uh, in, you know, I even have pick artists on Lawrence Taylor, which makes him actually usable in coverage, but also means that if he gets, a, if, if it's like a D-line pick stuff, he'll pick stuff like that off. Um, you know, Patrick Peterson and Night Train Lane are also really, I think, must have cards because they get pick artists for zero AP. And then you can kind of, you know, put abilities around them um, if you want. Like, I'm actually thinking about getting rid of Mike Haynes and uh, Minka Fitzpatrick because I just find that they, I don't have any knockout abilities on them. And I could put, that would free up some AP for me to be able to put more knockout abilities on uh, these corners that are going to play in man coverage. So with knockout abilities being so good, there's really not a great counter to man knockout abilities. Um, I think this definitely uh, makes a lot of sense. Basically playing man coverage with a ton of knockout abilities, um, I think right now is the best way to be playing defense, uh, which leads me uh, to some other things that I wanted to talk about on the offensive side of the ball. 
Offensively, I think you're doing yourself a massive disservice if you're not utilizing uh, Steve Smith and Cooper Cup. Um, I'm actually thinking about going back to uh, Jalen Waddle instead of Megatron, honestly, and the reason is because Jalen Waddle gets short out elite for zero AP, right? The route running abilities are really important. I think route tech is terrible. Um, I was trying out Calvin Johnson with route tech. I think route tech is absolutely terrible right now uh, with just the way the game is playing. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Short in and short out elite have stood the test of time in Madden 23 being the best route running abilities. So you want to have short in everywhere. If you're like a bunch or tight player, you want to have short in on everybody. If you're a trips or spread player, you want to have short in on the inside guys and short out on the outside guys. Um, I wanted to talk about the running back meta. Um, I saw a lot of people in the MCS utilizing uh, Jim Taylor. So his, if you look here, let me just put him in here. Um, his 93 overall card is, you'll look at, if you look at his ability there, it's the honorary lineman ability. He gets that for zero AP. What that's going to do is it's going to help pick up the dollar slot corner blitzes significantly better because that slot corner is going to be basically blitzing into a guy that's going to play like a lineman and he's going to get really good blocking animations on that player. So if you're not sending your back out a lot, that's a great ability uh, and a great player to be able to equip. Another thing I wanted to just briefly touch on is Eric Dickerson. I think Eric Dickerson is still a really good running back and the, the, what makes him such a good running back, if you think about it, is the fact that he's six foot three. Um, height is super important. And so you can literally ag people with your running back if you wanted to. So just kind of something to keep in mind. Um, and then I wanted to talk real quick about my coach settings uh, with you guys real quick. Something that I'm kind of testing right now um, is I, I didn't talk about Aaron Rodgers too much, but I think Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the game for two reasons. Number one, um, fearless is not as big of a necessity as it was in the beginning. And he actually gets, if you look here, he gets um, Hot Route Master and Set Feet Lead, these two together, for four AP. So if you're not using Fearless, I think you save a lot of AP doing this. Um, I'm kind of messing around with Gift Wrap. If you want more information about that, check out the Patreon. Um, we actually put pro tips in there as well to help kind of keep you guys up on up to date on things. The other thing I wanted to just briefly touch on was the offensive line. You're going to see here, um, I basically just tried to, I literally Googled best pass blocking line, and these were all the cards that I have. Um, I grabbed a couple of these zero AP abilities. This one right here, uh, Fool Me Once, you can run Natural Talent or Fool Me Once on Slater. Um, I'm just kind of testing out different stuff from the offensive line perspective because I feel like the only way that I really get pressured anymore is if I get shedded. And I feel like defensively, if we can learn how to get a better shed, um, it's going to significantly improve our defense. So I'm kind of testing some stuff out with that. Last thing I wanted to talk about is my basic game settings here real quick for you guys. little uh, December update for you. And that's main, the main thing that I've changed. Um, coin toss, I'm still kicking. Um, still want to have this against the win, in my opinion. And then the big thing, though, is if you come down here to skill-based passing, I have gone back to classic. And uh, a lot of pro players are actually shifting back over to classic. So I'm kind of honestly just following suit. And I just don't like freeform at all. I just feel like there's way too many overthrows with it. There is some things you can do with freeform that you can't do with classic. I will say that. But there are also, I think, the pros or the cons outweigh the pros in my personal opinion. So I'm kind of messing around with classic. If you have freeform on and you try to throw it without quote unquote freeforming it, you'll notice that the accuracy is not... Um, it, it it's not the same as if you use classic with no freeform. So all things being equal, if you classic pass and you have the skill based passing on, you're going to notice that the pass leads are terrible on that. If you classic pass and you have your passing set back to classic, then you're going to notice those pass leads are a little bit better. Um, so just kind of something to think about. Um, this is kind of what I'm messing around with right now. And then uh, gameplay, just auto flip on. Ball Hawk on, Heat Seeker Assist. I think you actually should turn this off. Um, I'm actually going to be turning this off. And the reason why um, is because I just feel like I, it, it actually is not that good this year. Um, in some years it's been good, some years it's been bad. You can put this on if you want to. Um, but just kind of something I've been tinkering with. I just feel like this is these two things here, I think they hurt your user more than they help your user with the way the game plays now. If this was more of a run-heavy game, then I might want to have this on. But for right now, I'm going to put that off. And then everything else is basically default. 
So thanks for watching the video. Just want to do a quick little update video on um, just kind of the, some of the best abilities in the game, how you should be thinking about building your teams, as well as uh, mainly just talk a little bit about the classic passing uh, shift as well. So thank you for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. And if you want to learn more and get all my eBooks, check out the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Get you literally access to everything over there, all the ebooks. We, we're dropping a brand new ebook tomorrow um, for the to kick off December with a bang. So a lot of good stuff coming for our Patreon members.